In this activity, we have created a model of a tidal turbine. For this, we need one plastic bottle and one reservoir of water to simulate the changing tides, one that is wider than the other and a piece of wire and cardboard to make the turbine blades. We also used safety pins and electrical tape to fasten the model blades to the bottle. This model of a tidal turbine shows how the ebbing and surging of ocean tides can be used to turn turbines, which can be used to produce electrical energy in a clean way, that is, from a renewable resource of energy. Harnessing tidal energy in power generation plants is still in its infancy, but it holds a lot of potential because of large size of oceans. Now we will go through some experiments or variations. One can try many variations with this activity to study the effect of the blade area and number of blades and the volume of air hitting the blades. When changing these factors turns the blades faster, more mechanical energy is harnessed. In an actual tidal turbine power generator, this spells more electrical energy. We can also reverse the direction of spin by allowing air to push the blades from the other side, that is, by redoing the cap hole and making it on the other side of the bottle, meaning 180 degrees away or diametrically opposite, while keeping the rest of the arrangement unchanged. We might find that increasing the number of blades actually slows the velocity of the blades. Since it is velocity that we are after, we find that the less the number of blades the better for us. One blade and two blade turbines though, they are aerodynamically more efficient, suffer stability problems like wobbling on the field. Hence, for practical use, three blade turbines are the most viable. On reducing the width of the blades, we find that the efficiency, blade tip velocity, increases. In a working model, the blades of a turbine need only be as wide as to produce enough torque to keep the turbine's hub running. We will also observe that the volume of air directly influences the speed of rotation of the turbine and is an important factor in turbine design. If we increase the size of the bottle, keeping other factors constant, the velocity of rotation of the blades will increase. On the field, it makes it very important to choose a location where the tides show a great deal of variation. Now for some scientific and historical background. There is a wonderful inspirational story to this particular toy you have made. A 10-year-old girl studying in a rural school in Maharashtra used to attend school in the morning, but in the afternoons used to help her mother do domestic chores in other people's houses. The family was like the many millions we see in India, underprivileged and living on the brink of poverty, but eager to create a change in their desperate situations. Parents sacrifice their entire lives so that their children may have a brighter future. And so it was a marvel in itself that Durga went to school. However, Often working on the riverside in the evenings, washing clothes with her mum, she used to be dreadfully bored. She would pick up trash from the banks of the river and make things. And one fine day, she made exactly what you have made. Perhaps not with nice safety pins or perfectly cut binding wire, but with whatever she could find. And because she went to school, she was able to display her innovation at the school science fair. The invention got noticed and recognized most immediately and the toy itself was named after her, Durga Jetty or Durga's Turbine. When a picture of Durga and her creation came out in the papers, there was a public outpouring of joy and within days more than rupees 7 lakhs were collected to support her education and Durga grew up to become a professional engineer. What an amazingly inspirational true story. Tidal power or tidal energy is a form of hydropower that converts the energy of tides into electricity or other forms of useful energy. 
The first large-scale tidal power generation plant was the Rance Tidal Power Station, which started operation in the estuary of the Rance River in Brittany, France, in 1966. However, because tidal power has suffered from the drawbacks of very high initial cost and limited availability of proper sites, it has not become as widely used as one might expect. On the positive side, recent technological developments in design and technology have opened up new possibilities with respect to sites and brought down economic and environmental costs to more competitive levels. So we might be able to bank upon this renewable energy resource and tap it to its full potential soon. Relative motion of large bodies of water is harnessed to produce tidal energy. The gravitational attraction of the sun and the moon on earth produces periodic changes of water levels and this generates tidal currents. How strong a tide is at any given place will be determined by the changing positions of the sun and moon relative to the earth. The local geography of the seashore and the coastlines and the effects of earth's rotation. The moon's gravitational pull is the primary source of changing tides on earth. Tidal power is of three main types. The first is called the tidal steam generator. It looks much like an underwater wind turbine. It is the cheapest and least ecologically damaging of the three types of tidal power generation. This is normally known as tidal turbine and the type which our model actually simulates. In another form of power generation, Tidal energy is trapped by making a dam across the opening to a tidal basin. The dam has a sluice, which is a gated waterway, through which the high tide water flows into the basin, following which the sluice is closed. When the sea level drops, electricity can be generated from the elevated water in the basin through conventional hydropower technologies. This is known as a tidal barrage. The main type is called dynamic tidal power. This involves building a T-shaped dam that extends 30 to 60 kilometers into the sea with a perpendicular barrier at the far end that is parallel to the coast. This barrier interferes with the horizontal movement of waves. The water level difference on both sides of the dam is enough to generate power in the turbine situated in the dam. Turbine. A machine for producing power where a rotor is made to revolve by a fast moving fluid. Torque. The moment of force or system of forces that causes rotation. This would be a result of the force that water or air exerts on the turbine blades causing them to turn. The third and final one is flux. Continuous movement, here of water due to changing tides. There are some theory prerequisites that you should also know. The first is renewable, non-renewable energy resource. The second, tides. And the third, climate change. Let's go over some concepts. As we know, renewable energy is an energy source that is naturally replenished like that derived from solar, wind, geothermal, or hydroelectric action. Tapping renewable energy is economically viable and has the benefit of climate change mitigation. It also provides energy security, that is, it is a reliable source of energy. Tidal power captures the energy in tides, that is, a tidal power generator would convert the energy from tidal flows into electricity. Tidal power draws from the orbital characteristics of the Earth-Moon system and partly from that of the Sun-Earth system. Tidal power can never run out because the tides are caused by the gravitational interaction of the Earth with the Moon and the Sun. This force of attraction creates ocean currents causing a temporary sea level rise. The raised sea level causes the ocean to move towards the coastline, causing the surging of a tide. 
the tide ebbs with the rotation of the earth and movement away from the moon. A rotor in a turbine can be caused to rotate by the water flux produced due to changing tides and this power may be captured in the form of clean tidal power. Here are some applications. As the non-renewable sources of energy like fossil fuels are exhausted, the only options to sustain the high energy needs of the population on the earth will be to make use of the available renewable sources of energy like tidal power. Tidal power is more reliable than other power generation sources like solar, wind or hydroelectric power because the relative motion of the moon with respect to the earth is the cause of tides and these are more predictable than the intensity of winds or sun at a particular place. As the planet earth is brought to its knees under the weight of its growing human population, the world's energy needs increase proportionately. As fossil fuels run out, we will have to look to alternative sources of energy for producing power to meet our daily needs. Fortunately, these sources of energy are renewable resources which protects the earth from further damage to its environment and climate. So the sooner we can make the shift, the better. We need not wait for the day that oil is no more available to us. Rather, go green from today. Harnessing of tidal power is one such robust way to capture a renewable source of energy. We hope you enjoyed this activity, the wonderful story of Durga, and the science behind this simple and ingenious design. Like Durga, we hope you will be inspired to create such an invention of your own.